What's up guys, 383 Jake here. This is my 1930 Model A two-door sedan, compound turbo, 12 valve Cummins, P-pump motor in it. The motor's built, got delivery valves, injectors, uh, pretty much the works. Got an S400 with a factory H1C with a smaller 16 centimeter BD turbine housing on it. The frame is two by four by three sixteenths. It's got the double Z also in the rear, fully fish plated. Triangular four link with a four nine inch in it uh, with a 3.0 gear. Uh, I built everything on the car, paint, sheet metal work, everything, motor, except for the transmission. Jake's Performance built that out of Dallas. It's a turbo 400 with a full manual valve body. It's bagged front and rear, it'll lay frame. Ride height will be anywhere from six inches, four inches, whatever you want it. IFS in the front, it's got Hydro Boost brakes. It's all hidden underneath the dash there. It's got a 90 degree mount on it. Um, all the body work on it. It's a, it's a steel body. A lot of people think it's a fiberglass body. The paint is a hot rod flats, single stage painted in the driveway. Um, it one shot, what you see is what you get. It does show a lot of oil obviously, but I mean, it is what it is. I've got almost 2000 miles on this thing now from driving it for about a year and a half. Got the Crafty B, Boost Juice, fuel cap right there, fully functional. 59 Cadillac taillights Frenched in, it's a five inch chop. Um, the whole back panel is completely remade. I'd made some new body lines on it. Getting into the interior here, it's got a killed off shifter, lightning rod, all of the solid copper rivets, aluminum panels, full set of auto meter gauges in there. Um, visibility is actually not too bad. You're able to see a good decent amount from it. Real estate gets a little, little slim down there with the feet, got to two-foot it, but it is what it is. Got the air tank, all these Zeus fasteners here are quarter turn fasteners to access the fuel cell, compressor motors, all that good stuff. But it's pretty fun. So at first we got my 67 DeVille convertible. It's uh, bagged all the way around. It has the 429 Cadillac motor in it. Um, everything works. The convertible rag tops are automatic. Um, just got a little bit of pinstriping done here on the trunk. I'll walk it around, you can see everything. I named this one, it's called This Love, which is a, a song by the band uh, Pantera. And I, I called it that because it, I got it and it's already Valentine's Day colors with the white and the maroon reddish interior, which is in very good condition. It's, it's original, so it's not perfect. I don't know if you can see in the video, but there's a couple of blemishes, but I mean, from, for a 1967 interior, it's definitely not bad at all. Um, I think I mentioned it's got, obviously it's air, uh, air ride. It's bagged all the way around. It's got the um, caddy stocks with the with the hubs at the moment. I got some uh, 15 inch steely rally wheels out at Powder Cut right now to get a color match to the interior. It's gonna be that same maroon color with a flake. And then I got a custom steering wheel coming as well. That's gonna have the same color powder coat on it to replace the stock one. See if you can catch some of this uh, pinstriping. Custom license plate I made out of uh, plastic and then when the striper did the trunk and the hood I just had him throw some lines on the, the license plate as well so I got this car basically done ready to go so I can cruise it for now um, just to hold me over while I build this car which is my 62 Impala SS convertible which is obviously in extremely rough shape everything that could be rotted and cancered on it basically is um, I bagged it, so I figure if it's going to sit while I'm waiting for parts to, to build it and replace all the sheet metal on it and everything, at least it could sit on the ground and look good. It is a real SS. So on this one, it's not going to be a traditional lowrider. Well, I guess it, it kind of, I kind of will be, it's going to be like a 70s style. So like more of like a six, 60s custom 
slash 70s style lowrider. So I'm going to have a satin paint on it, 15 inch rally wheels with the white walls, just like the caddy. It's bagged already. I'm going to body drop it so it lays rocker panel. I'm going to suicide the doors, put a LS motor in it. This one was a family heirloom. It's been in my family for like 15 years and it's been sitting outside rotting with no top on it for those 15 years. So that's why it's in such horrible condition. Don't plan on selling either, but if I do, definitely the caddy's going before the Impala. And then lastly, over here, I got my uh, 2013 Sportster. And this one was painted by Bombshell Deluxe on Instagram. Uh, you can look her up. She does a lot of paint work for like celebrities and she paints like shoes. She'll take like stock all white vans and do like flake. And um, this particular bike, I took all the parts off and mailed it to her. She's in um, somewhere in Florida. I'm over here in Central California. <clears throat> right here it says welcome to the west coast that's from a hardcore band called lionheart over here i had her throw a little 64 impala because i'm a uh, car enthusiast lowrider enthusiast 60s custom 70 traditional lowriders stuff like that and that's about it there's the toys hope you guys enjoy subscribe to generation old school it's an awesome youtube channel all right guys here's my factory two-wheel drive 1971 blazer Drivetrain is a 6.0 LS2 4L80 Trans. It's pretty much just got a static drop, pretty much as low as you can go without uh, notching it. Uh, I bought the truck pretty much repainted. Interior was done. I've added the top, the wood grain trim. Um, these wheels are one off customs uh, made to look like the CST caps tires are from Diamondback custom <clears throat> up front they are 9 by 20s and 11 by 22s in the rear nice slip there I got these custom badges made for the truck Kind of depicting it as a two-wheel drive truck. <laughs> a little dirty right now, but good thing about this color, you can't really tell when it's dirty or not. The truck was repainted. It's factory light yellow. right there the parchment trim it's a factory AC truck got the Dakota digital RTX gauges I added a tilt uh, steering with the 15 inch replica steering wheel got a Bluetooth uh, radio there That's pretty much it guys. Hi everyone, this is Jen and this is my 64 Chevy Suburban. It's a 350 with a turbo 350 transmission. Me and my husband Todd, we got this back on the road. She sat for quite a few years beforehand. It has a little mini C-notch original frame, drop spindles, air ride, and with um, our air ride is a manual valve. She has a 373 posi rear end. She's rolling on 22 transits. Original paint, we wanted to leave the paint this way. I'm going to show you a little bit more of the inside. So she's one of my dailies. I have two Suburbans. We did all new interior. My gauges and my seats. Just 
Jason here from Old Car Guy. Thank you so much for inviting us to be able to show off our trucks. Let's take a look at my 77 C10 long bed. Since I bought it, it was originally stock. I've lowered it six inches in the back and four inches in the front using the Beltec system the whole way around, including the notch kit in the back. The paint is original from 1977. It does have a few dents, a few scratches, a few dings here and there, but I have gone over this thing, cut it, and buffed it to the shine that you see now. Eventually, we're going to be adding some Detroit steel wheels, 18 inch to this puppy, just to set it off. I did have to do cab corners and rocker panels on it. I did that work myself right here in my garage. Taught myself how to weld. And as you can see, it does have the tonneau cover on the back. I did have to replace the tailgate on this as well, so I did paint that myself. And it's a GMC tailgate, but I did find the insert to put on it there to cover up the GMC. We do have some plans on tucking the rear bumper as well as up here in the front. Here's a quick glance at the interior, basically stock, stock bent seat with a seat cover, and I did replace the uh, carpet in the floor. Uh, and that is an ACC carpet that I got off of Rock Auto. Really good price on that. Let's take a look under the hood. Under here, we've got the stock 350 with a 350 automatic transmission. Everything is stock. This is 1977 stuff here, folks. We are going to be replacing this with an updated 350 and a 700R4 transmission. We're getting ready to do that on my channel really, really soon. So there you go, guys. That's my 1977 C10 I call Dale. I hope you tune into Old Car Guy and check out the remainder of this build.